Primal cast underway here right now on 1240 AM KEVA. We are in the middle of a K-Factral interview. Well, now we are back live. So we got the simulcast going, Matt Morrow. Matt Morrow, Roy Lloyd, and Mark Vidia. Roy down on the sidelines. Starting for the Evanston offense, number 88, Travis Christiansen, 5'9", 160, and a senior. He is joined by Brady Pompinga. Pompinga, a senior captain, 6'4", 230 pounds, and a senior. Rusty Lawler wearing, uh, let's see, Josh Davis first, 6'2", 235, and a junior. Rusty Lawler wearing number 60, 5'11", 215, and a senior. Brandon Dalton, 6'1", 188 pounds and a senior. Number 56 is Shep Otley. Otley is 6'1", 241 and a senior. Lewis Horton, one of the offensive tight ends and slots. He is 6'4", 220 pounds and a senior. A senior laden team this year for Evanston, but a lot of underclassmen looking good for the future. 17 is Jason Pruitt, 6'1", 172, and a junior. Fullback Jared Acey, 5'10", 203, and a senior. The senior tailback, the state's leading rusher, the state's leading all-purpose yardage man as well. Josh Schofield, 5'7", 168, and a senior. And I think we missed Ryan Staley at right guard, 6'6", 215, and a senior. And those are your Evanston Red Devils, just about set for action here tonight. We've got Roy Lloyd down on the sidelines. How's the excitement down there, Roy? Excitement out here is pretty great, as you can hear from the crowd. Uh, we still got plenty of room in the stands here at Evanston Red Devil Stadium. We'd like to see you come and join us for what's going to be a great game. What is it? Let's we'll see what the stands think. Back up to you, Mark. That about says it all. Thank you, Roy. And this is a perfect night for a semifinal state playoff action game. Rock Springs Tigers did defer. And Evanston opted to receive to open up the first half. We ran down the Evanston offense for the Rock Springs defense. On the line, Scott Betker, 6'1", 239, and a senior. Chris Ranta is 5'8", 217, and a senior. Craig Suter, 6'2", 225, and a junior. Trent Nate, 5'10", 181, and a senior. Linebackers Kevin Kessner, 5'10", 183, and a junior. Ken Fortuna, 6'1", 165, and a senior. Jerry May, 6'1", 157, and a senior. In the defensive backfield, Kyle Pasoler, 6'1", 178, and a junior. Cody Millimom is 6'3", 164, and a senior. Stan Colgan, 5'7", 140 pounds, and a senior. And rounding him out, Fred Capshaw, 5'10", 162, and a senior. And we are just about set to get this one underway. Capshaw, Capshaw rather, to kick deep to Travis Christiansen. Up backs, uh, Brandon, or excuse me, B. Shaver, as well as Papinga. And it'll go into the end zone, and... It'll be a touchback, so the Red Devils will take over first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. A very fired up Rock Springs team entering this contest. And you got to know that uh, Evanston, you would think they're awfully fired up. This is for all the marbles, Matt. Uh, the winner goes on to the state championship. We're going to try to keep you posted tonight on the progress of the Sheridan Bronx at Gillette. Chris Jansen will split out wide to the right as Evanston starts their per first play from scrimmage. It'll be AC and Schofield in the I formation behind Pruitt. Give will go left side to Josh Schofield. Rumbles and stumbles for about a five-yard gain, getting down to about the 25, it would appear. Again, Mark, look for the Red Devils to establish a run to get things underway. And maybe, uh, as well as Pruitt threw the ball last week, maybe mix and match the, the, the throwing and the, and the passing and the running. Uh, Again, Pruitt threw the ball extremely well last week and see if they can get their passing game going. Really crediting him for four. Matt, it looks a little closer to me to five. The yeah. ball, those of the ball resting right on the 25-yard line. We'll call it second and five. This time it's Conk out wide to the left. And again, the I formation with AC and Schofield. Now coming in motion is Lewis Horton. Give will come left side, and Schofield has to jump over the pile. He'll pick up, well, get down to about the 26, 27, depending on the official spot. Looks like... Uh, Probably about the 26 and a half, if you want to get real technical. Bring up about a third and four. Evanston needing to get to the 30-yard line for a fresh four. 11.02 and counting down here in this first quarter. The loser, their season is over. The winner goes on to play either Sheridan or the Gillette Camels. Christiansen now wide to the left. Horton in the slot. The offset eye, now Horton goes into motion to the near side of the field to give up the middle to Josh Schofield, fighting for the first down yardage. However, I think he's going to come up just a little bit shy. Might be about two feet shy, it looks like, uh, with the ref spot there. They fired up Rock Springs defense. Betker, I believe, uh, won in on the stop. 
So Evanston with a crucial decision here, a fourth and one. Looks like they might punt here, the Prutes coming off the field. So the Rock Springs defense has made a statement here on the opening drive. A three and out situation for the Evanston Red Devils. Long snap is back and it's a beauty to Horton who gets off a fairly high spiral that'll take a Rock Springs bounce down there to cover Brady Poppinga and then finally downing the ball would appear uh, Jared Acey. So the Tigers will start in relatively good field position. In fact, they'll start in very good field position at about the Evans, their own 44-yard line. Let's see where they mark this one off. Maybe a little further back. Okay, I'll go with my first instinct. It'll be about the 44. Tigers will bring it out. It'll be Mike Hansen split out wide to the left. They're running out of the flex bone. Mike Lur, Tony LaPiccolo is the quarterback. Coming in motion now is Carroll. The give will go up the middle and a big hole for fullback Trent Nate, who carries from the 44 down into Red Devil territory to about the 45-yard line. Again, there, Rock Springs offensive line uh, getting the best of our defensive line there uh, for the first time I can remember. And uh, linebackers missed, missed the tackle and gets with the field for about 11 yards. So. Down to the Evanston 46. So a pickup of 10 yards for Trent Nate, and that should be a first and 10 for the Tigers, their first of the ball game coming on the ground. Hansen split out wide to the left. Tigers running out of that Air Force Academy flex bone. Capshaw, Carroll, and Nate in the backfield behind LaPiccolo. Now coming in motion. Give will go up the middle, and this time not much running room as the Evanston defense rally coming up off the bottom of the pile. Looks like Shep Otley doing the little victory dance that uh, your cousin there does quite well. I don't know about quite well, but uh, <laughs> no, he's playing good, good ball uh, this year. And, and tonight looks like he's starting, off, starting it off again, trying to get the team riled up here and, and get, uh, go for the Tigers stop here. Nate again on the carry. He has two carries for 11, the big one of 10. And this will bring up a second and nine. Mike Hansen splits out wide to the left. Coming in motion is Nate. And now on the option is LaPiccolo, and he's going to be thrown for no gain, possibly a loss on the play. Jared Acey in on the tackle for the Evanston Red Devils. Yeah, they're going to credit him with the one yard, looks like. It was Capshaw, I believe, the ball carrier. They'll line it up in a true wishbone at times, and other times they'll, they'll, they'll put backs out near in a slot position. Third and nine for the Tigers, 8.35 left to left to play. First quarter on the Tigers' first possession. Capshaw goes in motion, back to pass as LaPiccolo, looks out into the flat, batted away by Josh Schofield. Again, Schofield showing that good instinct, coming up, making a play on the ball. So this will bring up a fourth and nine. So the Tigers got their first first down on their first play on a 10-yard Trent Nate run. And he had a big game against the Natrona Mustangs last week. Fourth and nine, so look for the Tigers to punt. It'll be cap shot. Deep for Evanston will be Travis Christiansen. Josh Schofield, the up back. Snap is back. Cap shot will punt from about his own 45-yard line. High spiral all the way back into the end zone. And Christiansen will just accept the touchback. But that was a great punt. Not a 55-yarder, or excuse me, 45-yarder. 45-yard field goal. Don't see that very often no. in the high school ranks at all. That was a tremendous punt. Great punt. So the Red Devils will get it back. They'll start just like they did first time out. Got down to the 29 and before having to punt on a fourth and one situation. This time it'll be Chris Jansen splitting out wide to the right. Popping in on that tight end on the near side of the field. The I formation with ACN Schofield behind Pruitt. Give will go to Josh, running left, skips one tackle and leaps his way over to about the 25 yard line. Deja vu, huh? Again, Schofield look, uh, doing what he does best, making the first couple guys miss and breaking a couple tackles and getting the, getting the yards that uh, weren't there initially. Four carries for the state's leading rusher for 14 yards here in the early part of the game. 7.54 and counting down. Evanston on their second possession. 
Both teams have been forced to punt. This time it looks like Jeremy Conk out wide to the left. The offset eye this time for the Evanston Red Devils. Horton coming in motion to the near side. The pitch will go to Schofield. Slips one tackle and now will be brought down. A great defensive play on behalf of Trent Nate for Rock Springs. Looks like uh, Josh will maybe pick up one on the on the carry out to about the 26-yard line. Hey, Red Devils lucky there not getting a tackle for, for a loss on that play. Schofield able to elude a bat, uh, defensive back there and get some positive yardage. Chris Jansen brings in the play as Con Jeremy Conk exits the field. It'll be a twin set this time to the left with Horton and Chris Jansen. Schofield and AC lining up in the eye. Back to pass is Jason Pruitt. Looks out. Got Chris Jansen. Makes the catch. He's got the first down and more as he'll cross to about the 37-yard line. So about 11-yard pickup there. Again, Pruitt uh, starting where he left off last game, throwing a strike to Chris Jansen for the first down. So the first pass from scrimmage goes for good. And the first Red Devil first down. And they start off getting it through the air. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. Evanston broke huddle. Now we'll go back. Running down that Red Devil offensive line, centered by Shep Otley, 6'2", 241, and a senior. Dalton at one guard, 6'1", 188, and a senior. Lawler at one tackle, 5'11", 215, and a senior. Staley, 6'6", 215, and a senior. And... Davis, 6'2", 235, and a junior. Horton going in motion to the far side. They give us to Schofield up the middle, and they get him around the ankles, but not before Josh picks up a pair, possibly three yards on the carry, out near the 40-yard line. Let's go down to Roy Lloyd. Before the big pass play to Christiansen, Coach Mackerel was on the sidelines urging his, urging his players to pick it up. He said he felt they, he was telling them they're moving slow, they're not playing as hard as they can. He told them it's time to pick it up. It's a big game. Back up to you guys in the booth. All right, Roy. Chris Jansen comes to the near side of the field. The offset eye again for the Red Devils with AC and Schofield behind Pruitt. Little movement, and this will be our first penalty of the game. Rock Springs move, but let's see if they were drawn off. We have live referees tonight. They are mic'd through the PA system. So Evanston will pick up a five-yard penalty. That won't be enough for the first down. It was encroachment on the Tigers. Spot the ball at the 44, however, and give it a second and three. Chris Jansen splits out wide to the near side of the field, the right side. Evanston going left or right on your radio dial. They give us to Schofield going left. Breaks one tackle, and he's got the first down as he crosses midfield. So a pickup of six for Josh. And they said they were going to run him a lot, Matt. Seven carries right now for 23 yards. And AC has yet to carry the ball. Yes, indeed. Nothing but the same for the Red Devils. you got AC blocking hard for Schofield. And give Schofield the ball, and he'll get you the yard. So go with what works, I guess. Yeah. Second first down for Evanston. Actually about a seven-yard pickup, so 24 yards on seven carries. For the state leader in the Class 4A ranks, Josh Gofield, the all-purpose yardage leader as well as the state's leading rusher. Offset eye formation with Horton in the slot right. Give will go to Schofield once again. Boy, and he's hit. Has a, and the ball is loose, and the Tigers say they have it. Capshaw comes up with it, so Evanston guilty of the first turnover. We talked about that in the pregame that... Uh, the team who plays error-free ball or, or nearest to it is probably going to win this game. So Evanston guilty of their first turnover, and it'll give the Tigers great field position as they'll start at the 48-yard line. Their own, first and 10. LaPiccolo has them out. The flex bone formation coming in motion. And Trent Nate, the, the ball carrier, he'll take it from about the 48 to near midfield. Again, Nate. Red Devils need a big stop here. Rock Springs is, you know, picking it up emotionally. And uh, they're here to play ball. We need a good stop here to 
slow him down a little bit. Second and eight. Ball spotted on the 49-yard line. A pickup of about one and a half. Hanson split out wide to the left. Now going in motion is Capshaw. The give will go to Nate once again. He'll cross midfield to about the Red Devil 47-yard line. So a pickup of four for Nate. And that should bring up... About a third and four situation for the Rock Springs Tigers. 4-19 and counting down in a rapidly moving first quarter of play. Third and five is what they have it on the scoreboard. The First National Bank scoreboard. Hanson comes wide to the near side of the field. Operating out of the flex bone go of the Tigers. And now LaPiccolo on the option. He's going to tuck it under and carry it himself. And he'll be hit by Poppinga, but he's close to first down yardage. Christy Hansen also in on that stop. They may uh, pull the chains out for this one, Matt. Yeah, again, it's too close to call, but again, Red Devils are kind of losing the battle up at the line of scrimmage right now, getting blown off the ball a little bit. Got to dig in and uh, get them going the other way. Got a four-yard pickup for Tony LaPiccolo. Of course, his father, an All-American at the University of Wyoming, the former coach of the Tigers, now their athletic director, Mike LaPiccolo. They're a little shy. So you got to see if Coach Romanowski wants to gamble here or play it safe. Boy, that last punt the cap shot got off. Uh, you could certainly pin the Red Devils back if you go for that corner. Fourth and one, the Tigers going to go for it. Let's see if the Red Devil defense can rise to the occasion here. True wishbone formation this time with the stacked backfield. LaPiccolo tries to keep it himself. He's knocking well. Now in his second effort, he just might. They look like they had him. Uh, Dalton came up and made the stop, made an initial hit, but LaPiccolo with some great second effort, able to get that first down. Again, Red Devil's needing the flow on that play. Getting They have the... The first guy coming through and making a hit, but they need the, the second and third guys to drive him back. And looks like it might have the first down on the second effort. Clock is stopped with 336. They're going to bring the chains out and check it one more time. I think they got it, though. If that spot was true, they should have, should have got the first down. Yeah. Got it with ease. So the Tigers with their second rushing first down on the night. Tony LaPiccolo on the keeper, only needed to pick up about a half yard, got a full. Two carries for five yards unofficially here in the early part of the ball game. Going in motion is cap shot. The give will go to Nate. This time he's hit. Shep Otley, also I think Brandon Dalton in on that one. The ping coming up big. Rusty Lawler actually the first one there. The ping coming up big from the linebacker spot, just putting a lick on the running back there. Nate has been the workhorse here on the night. He picks up another two. Five carries now for 18 yards. Evanston's leading ball carrier is who else? Josh Schofield. He leads the state. Seven carries for 24 yards. Second and eight facing the Rock Springs Tigers. Ball spotted on the Evanston 40-yard line. McCurtain splits out wide to the right. Again, operating out of the flex bone are the Tigers. Capshaw goes in motion. The give will go to Nate. Breaks one tackle. He's got some running room to the far side of the field. Trying to round the corner and a great run for Trent Nate. Uh, we talked about him. He, uh, he came up very big against Natrona last week. And that will be another fresh four for the Tigers. As Nate will take it all the way down to about the 25-yard line. So his longest run from scrimmage, about a 15-yarder, now has six carries for 33 yards. And the Tigers, Tigers are for real. Indy, they're here to play, and uh, Red Devils have to be careful here. Piccolo has him, and now on the option, he's going right, still on his feet, breaks one tackle and another. A good run for Le Piccolo. Let's see that last run. They had it spotted, Matt. I thought about the 25, but the scoreboard's showing the 19, so that would have even been, been a bigger run for Trent Nate. More like uh, 20, well, let's see, 21 yards. Looks like Nate picked up the first down on that play, first and goal from about the 8 or 9 yard line down there. The fourth rushing first down of the Tigers, knocking on the door at the 8 yard line, first and goal. 
Ball loose on the field, and it looks like LaPiccolo will cover it up. Dalton was there for Evanston. Yeah, but that will set the Tigers back somewhat. Inside two minutes now to play here in quarter number one. About 12 minutes in front of the hour, 8 o'clock in the Intermountain West. Red Devils need to come up with a big stop here and maybe uh, hold the Rock Springs to only three points. Loss of four will be attributed to Tony LaPiccolo. That gives him a net of one yard on three carries. Uh, Rock Springs with the timeout here. Well, with a timeout on the field, we'll go ahead and take one as well. 1.45 left to play. We're scoreless from Red Devil Stadium. We're back after this 30-second timeout. The Brock's leading 10 to nothing at the half, and that is a good sign. Because if Evanston is victorious tonight and Sheridan wins at Gillette, the Bronx come to Evanston for the state championship. Just as simple as that. Give will go to Carroll, I do believe. Or Capshaw. Trent Nate once again from the 12. I don't think he got a lot. Got so, down to about the 10-yard line. Looks like Pepe coming up to make the stop again. Seven carries for 41 yards for Trent Nate. Haven't seen much of Kenny Carroll and Fred Capshaw, other than them going in motion. Nate has been the workhorse. That stops the clock now. It'll start to roll again. Minute 12. Tigers got back two of the four they lost. They were down to the eight-yard line. Third and goal. And a counter play this time to the well sniffed out by the Evanston Red Devils as the ball carrier Kenny Carroll May have picked up one, but I think uh, they hit him right at the line of scrimmage, Matt. Looks yeah, like no game. Indeed, Red Devils uh, <coughs> doing a good job of staying home and looking for the, the offset play there and uh, stopping near the line of scrimmage. Fourth and ten, it looks like the Tigers will opt for the field goal. And it should be Capshaw on to kick it. No, this is a – Capshaw kicks off, but he doesn't kick the uh, field goal. Kick is blocked. Now picked up by LaPiccolo, he's off to the races. But he's going to be driven out of bounds at about the five-yard line. That's a live ball. A couple of Red Devil and a Tiger still on their backs on the field. Getting up slowly. Well, now he jumps right up is Travis Christiansen. Still a Tiger slow to get up. But a block field goal will end this drive as the Tigers have got all the way down to the eight-yard line, but they'll come up empty-handed. 20 seconds left in our first quarter. Evanston will take over on their own 10-yard line. This will be the Red Devils' third possession. Once again, Red Devil defense coming up big and uh, maybe giving some momentum to the offense. Pruitt and Chris Jansen come back onto the field for the Red Devils. Hash mark left. 90 yards to go. 20 seconds left to play, first quarter. Looks like Schofield, the lone... Set back, and now we have movement. This time, I think it's uh, against the Red Devils, which will really set them back in a hole. Again, Red Devils uh, seem seem like they're not at their uh, highest level of play here. They're got a fumble and a kind of shooting themselves in the foot here with the penalty. False start. It looked like some movement on the left side of the Red Devil line. And that'll take the Red Devils back to their own five-yard line. That's their first penalty tonight. So both teams now have been penalized five yards. First and 15 from the five. Splitting out wide to the left is Travis Christiansen to the far side of the field. Give will go up the middle. I believe Jared Acey on his first carry. And it'll be a good positive gainer for the senior up back. Looks like about 10 yards on the play. Ball was spotted on the five, and it looks like they've got it about the 15-yard line. And that'll end our first quarter of play. Wow, what a fast one it's been. We are scoreless from Red Devil Stadium. Time to come down and build these games as well as to put them on for replay for everyone's enjoyment. It's a, it's a great service, and uh, of course, if you're watching us tomorrow, you'll, you'll know that we were saying kind things last night. Chris Jansen out wide to the right. A second and five facing the Evanston Red Devils from their own 15-yard line. Pitch going to Schofield. Gets a wide, great block by AC. Cuts it back up inside, got the first down and more. AC coming up huge. He just uh, coming out there and uh, just he put a tiger just on his back. Just leveled the guy. 
So Evanston with their third first down on the evening, two on the ground, one on the air. But yeah, that was a, a great block thrown by the senior up back. 203 pounds coming at you. Ball spotted. On about the 25, wouldn't you say? Pretty close there. So a 10 yard pickup. Passing over in the flat and the pass is caught, but not gonna be good for much. Brady popping guy, I do believe, on the receiving end. Let's see. Well, hey, a little better than what I thought. Uh, four yards on the, on the game. 15 yards now on two passes as Pruitt is hooked up with Poppinga and Christiansen. Bring up a second and six. 11.04 left to play here in the first half of play. I formation for the Red Devils. Twin set to the left. Pitch will go to Schofield, coming to the right, the near side of the field. Got AC out in front of him, gets a block, cuts back into the middle. Crosses midfield to about the 49-yard line of Rock Springs. So now the offense is starting to show some life. And again, you got the line uh, uh, coming off the ball really quick. Looks like just the whole team is just one step quicker all of a sudden. Uh, they're picking it up a little bit, and Schofield again uh, makes some guys miss and gets some good yardage. 21-yard pickup, now 55 yards on nine carries for the state's leading rusher in the 4A ranks. 